Yesterday, Bao removed almost all the screws. Which is amazing, all the way back. Say hi. This is our new house. What do you think? Do you want to live on a bus? And travel all around the country? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Today, I've been messing around. I've been taking off these accessories. I took a shot at the rubber floor. It took me like 15 minutes. It was a little rough. The plywood is splintering a little bit naturally. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that yet. The rubber floor is gross, but I'm wondering if I can just go over it with insulation. Next, I'm gonna cut out these heaters. Get them out of our way. We did that, at least. That was something. Yeah, we need that. <laughs> oh crap. What did you get? What is it, to refeed it? Oh yeah, yeah. How's it going, guys? It's going away. Right. Yeah, we're not making a huge mess yet. No. So is that bucket collecting all of the coolant, or? Yeah, bucket's collecting the coolant, and we got our finger shoved in the coolant <laughs> line to try and lose as minimal coolant as possible. Are you guys wearing gloves? No. <laughs> so all we gotta do is clamp this up, see if it's not leaking, and we can move on to the last heater. Awesome. This works, it might not. Okay, so all of that coolant that they're catching underneath the bus is coming out from these old heaters. It's quite the messy job. <laughs> yeah, it's always built. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. So prior proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. <laughs> that's a good one. But wigging it, sometimes you can get away with stuff. <laughs> Heater number two is out. Nice. ceiling panels down and here's the amazing things we discovered. It's already insulated with rigid foam board. I think that these are an inch thick, which means we have an R value of five. We can probably just put these back up and fill in the gaps. The ceiling is aluminum. Also discovered that our electrical runs were only for lights and speakers on this side. So we're able to just straight up delete all that. No moldy insulation, no adhesive. These were just lodged up there. Can you There's... walk on them or is that dangerous? Walk on what? We also found some graffiti. You wanna check it out? This we found underneath carpet and plywood. So we think that they had put a second layer of carpet at some point. But somebody did love on bah. That would be a great name if you guys didn't have your name. Yeah, no, would be, would be <laughs> I agree. Name. This one right here we can't take out yet because we have electrical lines running to this emergency exit window. If this is open, you can't put the, the uh, bus and drive. Can we dismantle that and then just have a different way to open and close this window? I don't know. I need to talk to an expert about that. Otherwise, we can take all the wires out and just run the wires that we need all the way back. So the reason that we couldn't get this off the other day when you were pulling on it and I was pulling on it, there's one little screw hiding here in the Shut corner. Shut up. 
I left it I here. I feel to show so you. bad at my job. No, you couldn't have seen it. It was Dang. underneath stuff. So, anyway, yeah. where's the drill? Talk to you for a second about the heaters, why you have to take them out, or why we chose to take them out. What we did was we cut the coolant lines at the easiest spot, and we took copper fittings that were already on the heater and just kind of customized them and reclamped them. It's not a pretty solution, but it works for the time being. We really wanted to move on to working on the inside. The reason that you have to keep the heaters is, you, know, you don't have to keep the heaters. In fact, you know, they're out of the bus. But you have to keep the heater at the very front of the bus. Ours is right here. And the reason is you need it to defrost the windshield when it's raining. Therefore, you need that coolant to come all the way up to the front of the bus. They can't really be used in our conversion because they only work while you're driving down the road. We need a solution for heat and air conditioning that is available when you're not driving or using the bus. So that's why we did that. Okay, go ahead. You can see me? Yeah. <laughs> I can't show you what's looking. No, just point at everything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take this back. No, 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 trust me. It makes you look way better if I hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Open that. No! Okay, it's 11 o'clock, it's raining, we're checking for leaks. I'm gonna show you what I found. <laughs> <Give me this. laughs> I've heard that the Gillick Phantom school bus can rust and leak in one area. There's like a rain... Wait, can you see my hand? Look at that, that's perfect. There's like a rain guard or like a drip rail or something and it goes along here and lo and behold, we've got some moisture right where that line is. Let me see. Mm, moisture. moisture. This is moist. Mm, See that? Saw that. Was water. Now it's still water. <laughs> um, what I'm, else? I'm glad you're being so concise. Okay, let's go down. <laughs> let's let's go down yonder. Look at that rust. Ooh. It's leaking there. You're smudging all over the place. Oh, I just got bit by a mosquito. Oh, oh that sucks. Okay, keep going. Look, hey, look at this. Okay. Sc scum. Yep, I see it. It's Chris, moist. Chris So, mm -hmm. that's going to be really easy to fix, I think. Just a bunch of silicone. Right, in the seam, you mean, right? Can you see in there how it's dripping mm -hmm. onto the window? That's just, not good. Just on the inside. You can actually see nothing outside, but you can see a drip. That's coming from here. What is this bug? Oh, there's no seams in here. You're very preoccupied by bugs. <laughs> I don't even notice them. I see dust. No bugs. Okay, one last spot I found a leak. Follow me yonder. When did you start using the word yonder? We have some moisture coming from somewhere. See right here? Mm-hmm. It's wet. Where is that coming from? This is more of a mystery. I suspect it's hiding behind this last Really? Panel. You don't think it could be in the window gasket? It seems solid, and I don't see any moisture running down the window. Mm-hmm. So I think it's coming from behind this. Mm -hmm and dripping into the frame. Well, we'll be taking that panel off shortly, right? We will. To be continued. Pilaf, you're just so cute right now.